One of the main guys that we always hear about too is Wooski. What was uh, your relationship with Wooski? Was he around? My son, son, like when that happened, that when Wooski first woke up from his coma, I was the first person he see. I didn't leave his bedside when he got shot. Cause you was actually there when at he the got funeral? shot at the funeral. At the funeral, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. And this was a funeral for Dooski. Yeah. And I hear shots like, and this is the crazy part about it, Adam. Rest, uh, long live big, long live fat shorty. I promise you. Like, I come out the church and I say, and these is my exact words to fat shorty. I say, has y'all got y'all antennas up? Because you know I'm hood with it. They know I'm the hood mom. I say, but I was really joking, but I was serious. And I say, y'all got y'all antennas up? And I remind you, I got my daughter who was like 16 at the time, 16 to 17 at the time. So Fat Shorty like, yeah, mom, we got it. We got it. Cause I'm like, you know, they shoot up front of us too. And as soon as I stepped around for Big Shorty, that's when they got the fat. It was like, fight, 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 fight. So I didn't duck. I didn't got up under the funeral car with the casket, where the casket go in. Was it from the car or did they run up? I didn't see where they was coming from. Oh. I, I just heard shots. And my ghetto survival skills told me to drop low because if you know ain't nobody shooting at you, right. you don't want to be a moving target. You drop where the f*** you at and try to roll or take cover. And that's what I did. I rolled up under the funeral car. But now my daughter didn't ran off, cause she didn't ran a separate way, but I didn't ran. So now I'm like, Lord, I don't want, you know, but it was like eight people got shot. And Wooski got hit with a bullet that hit the ground. Really? And ricocheted and hit him. He didn't get shot in the head. Like a person, well, no. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying he wasn't the target of what they were doing? Who? Whiskey? I don't know who was no damn target. All I know ain't nobody walk up to him and shoot him in the head. Right. Everybody was running. You don't know who was shooting at him. And that's sad that you got to bring guns to God's house. Like, that's no, how that's you know crazy, we in yeah. the end of days, babe. But... Is Mona that, Lisa, let me tell you what she did at Tutu funeral. Why her ass want to sit up here and try to come at me? She brought guns in a church against who, the eye. This is before she started messing with J Money and had a baby man. Who is this, Mona Lisa? Uh, I don't think I know her. J Money's girl? Yeah, this yeah. is who oh, claims okay. she's Vine, granddaughter, whatever her name is. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So... She, we recently had some words. You know, her dad from 4-6. I grew up with him, her mom from the alley. Like, we grew up together. These are people, though. So that's why she was always welcome in my house because I knew her parents. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But I guess when she went to the other side, you know, and how could you diss Duck? Like, Duck ain't never diss you. Like, Duck ain't never, he'll see you and be like, what's up, Mona Lisa? Like, he would never, like, do nothing to you. So, and that's how you know it was a clout chase move. It was a dick ride move. Because you're dissing somebody who would have protected you if it would have came down to it. I have people behind them walking up to me right now telling me, like I was in the hospital, and they said, your son one day, some boys was jumping on me, and he, this is an older lady, and say Duck came out the alley like, is you okay? Is you all right? Come over here with me. I'm going to make sure you good. Ain't nobody else over here going to fuck with you. And that, that's the type of kindred spirit Duck was. He was a protector. G. Like, he wasn't with the bullshit, but he was with all the bullshit. I'm going to just say all that. Right. Have you ever ran into Chief Keith? Because initially the, the beef really started with Duck yeah, and Chief nah. Keith. So like, have you you never seen Chief Keith in, in I person? I had Duck listening to text. 
He came, I got it blasting in the crib one day. He came home, he bobbing in the house, he going through the crowd, running through attacks, smoking all that. Uh, also known as <laughs> So you're a fan before all this shit? I, lo- I like the music, Adam. Right. I don't like the dissing oh, of yeah, the yeah. dead. I like the music. Text for Nito. Oh my God. Adam. Yo. I said I was gonna crack a joke about with you about Lena. Like she like BBWs, Uh-oh. baby. Mm-hmm. I, I like the best of both worlds. Yeah. I rock her shit. Uh, I don't wanna be going on the Chiracology Reddit and seeing them talk about you flirting with me, so I'm not gonna say anything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Bring on Lena. That's her name. I can Lena. send her over for sure. Linda. Lena. Linda. Lena. Yeah. It's Armenian. Shayna and Lana, that sound good, like Adam. <laughs> With Adam, Adam Savage in the middle. So you down, oh to, you down to collab on uh, Plug Talk? Oh, make Adam Savage. Hey, you down to collab on OnlyFans with Adam? Hell no, nah, I don't do nothing <laughs> on that damn Oh, so OnlyFans. you ain't really doing anything on OnlyFans? I'm finna be talking about Duck Case. I'm mm. finna be doing exclusive promoting. Right. Like, I'm finna make OnlyFans positive. They're gonna hate me. Yeah, even a, though to them freaky people that's positive, but it's just no. a platform. You can do whatever I you mean, want. I mean, who wouldn't want to see Mama Duck doing anything sexual? Like, right? she the goat. No, we got a root for Mama Duck, right? She the goat. If you don't support Mama Duck's only fans, you're not for the culture. You're not fucking around. I'm glad not for glad really we got enough. that cleared up. And so go promote, go join, go follow, do it all. I gotta mm. feed my grandkids. I need everybody to check out NoJumber.com. We officially started a blog. It has in-depth articles about current events, music, et cetera, plus all of our content in terms of podcasts, interviews, et cetera. And you can get some exclusive new merch if you check out NoJumber.com. So make sure you tap in.